on, spit it out. What do you want to say? Oh, what is it? You're in love with me or something? No. Look, David, in case you haven't noticed, I've got a lot on my plate, so can you just get on with it? The thing is... Kylie's gone into labour. What? Yeah, she's having the baby. What, now? David, don't just sit there. Move! Oh, hang on a minute. Go, go, go! Oh. Is it coming? Oh. Is it coming? Oh. Eh? Well, I just did what any neighbour would do, you know. I saw that she needed help through the window. Through the window, yes. Thank you. Thanks. We can take it from here. Well, are you sure? Because I did use to go out with Marcus. No, we'll be fine. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. Right. First things first. Where's the bag? No, everything's going to be fine. Now, can you make it to the hospital? I can't even make it to the door. Kylie, did anybody find the midwife? I think Sean did. What do you mean you think Sean? Well, do you know Sean is? Well, don't try and be funny, Kylie. Oh, believe me, David. Well, did he phone him or not? Oh, I don't know! Right, well, where's the number then? He's in the pack, the pack with oh, all the information. Where? 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 Calm Where? down, Where? David! Oh, I just found the flea! Yeah, I am going to phone the number. Yeah. Just, just pass me it. Oh, Kelly, have your water's broke yet? Not yet. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my wife's gone into labour, but she don't think she can make it to the hospital. Bring drugs! Bring... Um, she's 37 weeks. How far apart are the contractions? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just check my stopwatch. She don't know that. She just gave me a sarky answer. Yes, don't say that. Oh! They want to speak to you. Oh, yeah. Tell them I've got two words. Oh. Well, this is it. My mate's wife gave birth to triplets, which would have been fine if you weren't on a stag doing all. Oh. Should I have go on a stag do? Yeah. Slap bang in the middle of the due date. Just... I said that he should be our shandy man in case he had to rush back, but he won't have it. He was our designated drinker. Uh, yeah, well, his wife still can't see the funny side of it. Did you walk out? Yeah. Look at her. She's absolutely gutted. Serves her right. We should keep going, mind. Over the next garden fence and the next garden fence and the next garden fence. <laughs> yeah, like Bert Lancaster in the swimmer. <sighs> Sally might want to disguise it a bit. Five minutes, you said. <laughs> <laughs> you know... When you see a dog in someone's window waiting for its owner to get home. Yeah. Hmm. Is that some proper food? I brought what a fudge. This potato salad's lovely. I made that. I would have brought a load of stuff, but Sally said just to bring her salads. It was for another steak. Oh, me, I'm starving. <laughs> 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 They wanted me to stay and help, but I just said to them, listen, I better leave you to it. I mean, at the end of the day, what am I going to bring to the party? Very little, I imagine. In fact, you might actually end up taking something away from the party. Speaking of which, I'm going to go back to Anna's. You come in? No. Right, well, I'll keep you up to date about Kylie. <laughs> you needn't. Uh, Eileen, there's a little baby about to be born. It's David Platt's. It doesn't count. Oh! <laughs> the midwife's on away now. And an ambulance, and we can talk through on the phone anything that we need to. Um, she says we've got to make her really comfortable, uh, be it on the couch or on the floor or oh, a bed. Oh, we never worked that out, would we? She's only trying to help. You know, my friend Catherine gave birth in the porch because they say you need to get as close to the front door as you can, you know, so they can get to you quicker. Oh, that's all I need with Norris sweeping up outside. Well, they say the traffic's oh. terrible on the ring road now they've closed off Stanley Moore Road. Yeah, well, is that helping? Oh. They're not far apart now. They're not far apart now. Oh, get that thing away um, from they me! They say every time you have a contraction, uh, you're supposed to breathe in and then out through your mouth. Do you hear that, Kylie? In through your... In through your what? Um, you're supposed to breathe in through her mouth or her nose. Your nose. Your nose. My nose are flipping well, breathe! Well, I think you better get them leggings off. <gasps> well? As expected. Has she gone? Coward. No, very don't say that. Whenever things get difficult, she turns her back. Well, I don't see why we should have expected her to stick around. Not if she'd had a better offer. Auntie Jean's. In Hastings. An extended break, she called it. I'd be surprised if she left so much as a handkerchief. Well, I don't blame her at all. And you never know, she might come back. She won't be welcome. You've forgiven her once. You deserve better. What about these barbecues, eh? 
We've been invited to, you know. You must be tired. Right, it's a barbecue in a back garden with some friends. Not at all. Carol says, listen to your body. No, I can feel it's coming, it's coming. You see the head? Ah, you see the head? <laughs> right, push when you need to. Uh, right, is this any good? Nineonterup.com, in the event of a home birth, you might want to lie on your left side and get on all fours and bring your chest down to your knees. Do whatever your body tells you to do, and, and if you feel like pushing, push. Your face should be close to the floor and your bottom elevated. This may ease the urge to push. Do I want to push or not? Yeah, push, push. Business. Well, I had to go all the way around and then come all the way around back again. I thought I was going to have to break the door down, but look, it was open. Well, couldn't you have just got David? Well, he did say that I actually wanted me to stay, but, you know, because of me going out with Marcus. Mm. I said, listen, cock, that poor love has got more on her plate than she needs already without the cast of Ben Hur in the living room, so, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If I could have everybody's attention for a moment, please. Oh, there we go. Tim and I would just like to thank everybody for coming. It's been a lovely afternoon so far. Uh, Gary, whack up the sound, will you, mate? <laughs> Don't all be tired. Now, remember, eat and drink as much as you like. And if you could continue to keep all the condiments and relishes on this side of the fence, that would be most gratefully appreciated. Thank you for your cooperation. And we're leaving the train, if you could please make sure you <laughs> take all your personal belongings with you. Tim, would you like to add anything? What? Uh, no. Uh, well, uh, thanks for inviting us. Ah, oh, you're very welcome, everybody. Now, enjoy. <laughs> oh, look, more guests. Okay. Hi, Oh, Hi. Oh, what are they doing there? Are you inviting them? I did. Hi, oh, Sylvia. So Hayley! Oh, oh, oh. oh, Roy. Hayley! Roy! Oh, oh nice. how was your trip? Oh, oh. brilliant. Oh. Oh, come and sit down, Hayley. Uh, uh, excuse me, I was asking her a question. Well, they're my guests. Yeah, well, they're my friends, thank you very much. And Roy is my employer. Have you spoken to your mother? Yes. Well, I invited them. Yeah, well, I invited them too. I invited them first. I asked Sylvia on Thursday. I text Hayley on Wednesday. Perhaps we could spend some time at both. Well, OK, Hayley, why don't you come over to this side, oh. Sally? You can have Roy, mm -hmm. and that way everybody's happy. We don't want to split them up, do we? Hayley's a very ill woman. She wants to be with her husband. Please, I really don't want you to compete. 20 minutes and then she's coming this side. Right. She's nearly here. Kylie, you are sensational. <laughs> David, tell her she's sensational. What? Kylie, you're sensational. Oh, one more big push. <laughs> Is there anything wrapped around its neck? Um, she says when she's born, we need to get it as close to mum as possible, um, wrap it in a towel, uh, something about body heat. Oh, she's... Yeah, she's here. She's here. <laughs> David, congratulations. <laughs> oh, he says, he says, don't cut the cord. No, don't cut the cord. We need to leave it alone. Oh, is she OK? Yeah, yes. she's moving. There you go. Beautiful now. She's all right. <laughs> oh. Hello, baby. Oh. How's it going, eh? Way up. Midwife and paramedics are here. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> no offence, but I can only see his side of the family. God help her if she turned out like mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's all in it. I did take after your mum. Cheeky cow, in what way? No, I meant in terms of looks. Nah, not really. I bet you look like her a bit, but... What about your dad? Mm. Change the subject. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah, Max will be chuffed for her. Yeah. Aww. She's well behaved, isn't she? You sure she's his? <laughs> <laughs> right. I think my work here is done. Are you sure they don't have to go in? Mum's absolutely fine, and so's baby. Who wants to go to hospital? Yeah, I'm into that. Mm. 
She does look like Daddy, doesn't she? Have we got a name yet? Uh, yeah, it's David. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, I have a point in mind. Ignore him, he's on another planet. <laughs> Who can blame him? Take care now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Be about quarter past eleven, that suit? Yeah. Don't think I'm doing out. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks. See you. And that's that. Mad, isn't it? One minute you're up and about minding your own business, next thing you know you've had a kid. It's the miracle of life. Oh, I can't wait to tell Nick. Ten little fingers, ten little toes, nothing to fret about. Apart from all the sleepless nights you're going <laughs> Done and dusted in how many minutes? No hospital, no pain relief? Well, it's like that website said, those women are designed to have babies. If we can do it in mud huts and caves. Hey, don't talk it down. No, I'm not saying it was easy. It looked a nightmare from here. I like a little mittens. Do you know what they're for? To stop her scratching herself. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll leave you to it then. I'm sorry I showered at you. Oh, forget it. I remember when Nick was this size. If there's anything I can do. Oh, yeah, we'll let you know. Thanks. Right. Yes. Oh, David, what were you going to say earlier on? When? In the bistro. Oh, um, wasn't important. It seems trivial now, even. Just, um, make sure you don't blame yourself, Leanne. What happened to Nick? He wasn't trying to answer the phone. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Thanks. Oh, congratulations. She's beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> yeah, it's my party. I invited her and look at her. All sweetness and light like butter and milk. You want another can, Steve? Yes. <laughs> she hates you. She thought she'd seen the back of him and the next thing she knows is as good as moved in next door to her. So I haven't planned it. What am I supposed to do? Deny my feelings because of her? <laughs> Of, uh, down through the Cotswolds and um, went through Chipping Norton, Morton in Marsh, and then down through Malmesbury, Chipping Sodbury. All the way down to Bath. Oh, yes, yeah. Bath, so lovely. Isn't it? Have, have you ever been to Bath? No. No, I've always wanted to go. Yeah, I might have a bath later. Well, the, the Roman baths are quite stunning. Royal Crescent and the, the circus. Oh, yeah. You two went to the circus. <laughs> then... oh, oh, no, 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 Jessica, it's the streets. <laughs> oh, all right. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Will your mother be gone long? Mum, this ketchup's gone. Oh. There's some over here, mate. Oh, don't say that, Sally's. Oh, don't even think about it, Gary. God, she's not looking. What's going on? <laughs> Gary's after some tomato sauce, but they've run out and he's too scared to use Sally's. Chess, I'll give you three quid if you get that ketchup for me. Oh. <laughs> you matter a man. Well, right now I'm a combination of the two. Oh, yeah. just take it! Here! <laughs> Oi! What do you think you're doing with my sauce? Uh, I think that you'll find the right hand perimeter belongs to me. So if you want to put your ketchup on my fence, then that's your problem. Actually, look, it's, it's the left. <sighs> give me the ketchup back. Not let her have it, love. Why should I? It's theft. Oh, well, go on then. Call the police. Maybe I will. Oh, look, Mum, <laughs> Mum, take it. Here, I've used it now. Yeah, go on. Call the police and see how stupid you feel when they turn up. Why don't the pair of you behave? Oh, Roy, keep out of this. Don't you talk to Roy like that. Oh, talk sorry, to him on, how so I like. He's not a child. Oh, this on, was supposed to be my garden party and you ruined everything. Yes, yeah, well, it was meant to be on his back before you threw yourself at him. Right, well, your life is none of your business. <laughs> oh, you know what you have to do? You're just dead. At least I don't like Dolly Parton. <laughs> Steve, will you do something? <laughs> just to let you all know, Kylie's just had a baby girl. <sighs> Seven pounds, eight ounces. Don't go out there. Can't you hear that? Hello? Hello again, ma'am. Uh, no, yes, everything's fine. 
OK, hang on a minute. Graham wants to speak to you again. Hi, Graham. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Does Max want to speak to me? Right, OK. And are you sure you don't mind him staying over? Thank you. Yeah, all right, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Better? I've been thinking, what about Lily? Lily? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Let me live with it for a bit. No, I was actually talking to him. Oh. <laughs> None of my business, is it? <laughs> lily? Yeah. Don't you think she looks like a lily? Um. I've always been texting you. Uh, Tina? Well, what does she mean by that? Well, I expect she just means as she had it, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Very demanding, though. Well. Text about Bon, see how she likes <laughs> that with a one-word text. <laughs> Lily. Yeah, I think I like it. David, Kylie, Max and Lily. Would Max and Lily like to come out and play? Hey, have you seen Lily and Max's mum? She is roasting. <laughs> is that Lily and Max's grandma? Because she doesn't look old enough. <laughs> Hi, I'm David, Lily's dad. Aren't I? Yeah, of course you are. Or am I Lola's dad? No, I think you're Lily's dad. Yeah, so do I. Well, I think I'm sold. So am I. Well, there we go then. You little Miss Platt are called Lily. <laughs> Suppose we should finish off up on Balaclava Terrace tomorrow. Make a start on Mrs Henshaw's roof. Yeah, maybe so. It was nothing if not eventful. The only crime a party can commit is to be boring. You're not wrong there. Right, best get back to me, boys. I've left them doing airfix models. Ah, that's what bank holidays are for. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Right, I'm off to the pub. I'm coming with you. Are you hurt? Are you coming back? I'll probably keep up mine tonight. Oh, well, well, fine. You all right cleaning up? Yeah. Oh, that's the first time we both put him to bed in I don't know how long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you too. Look, if you want to go back to the barbecue, it's fine with me. You know, I'll stay and babysit. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Why do you? No. Good. Right, I'm going to go and have a bath and then I might slip into something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, she's fine. What did your mum do with them towels? Oh, she just put them in the wash. I hate to say it, but she's been brilliant. Yeah, well, she has her uses. I hope she does you proud. You've been a good dad to Max. You've always been there. Make sure you do the same for her, yeah? I wanted a nice little barbecue. A few friends. Tim. I thought Faye might like it. I wanted everybody to like each other. Well, at least you're finally calling it a barbecue. I'm sorry. We should hope so. We're fighting over guests, fighting over ketchup. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, one and a half bottles of Chardonnay, that's what came over you. I wasn't fighting over ketchup. What Ryan Hardy must think, I've no idea. The poor woman's got cancer and that's what she comes home to. Please. That ketchup was Sally's. Yeah. And Faye's mine. Chess. Chess. What? Are you coming up? I must have dozed off. I was drinking in the afternoon, that's done that to you. Hey, if you can't handle it, you shouldn't do it. I'll be up in a minute. You don't be long. Do 
took it from close range. From the front. Hey! Congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> what, did you get a boy or a girl? Um, girl. I've got a girl. Name's Faye. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, onwards and upwards, eh? Yeah. 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 Tina, the stuff I've had to live for. Oh, we've all had it hard, David. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting for this day. You agreed to tell the truth. That was then. It was five hours ago. Yeah, but everything's changed now. Everything's different. You know that as well as anybody. Please. What have you called her? Lily. Lily? It's nice. Yeah, so don't make her visit me in prison, please. I know I've done something terrible, all right? I know that. David. Just give me one night. <sighs> Please, Tina, just another night. I'm not doing this for you, David. Because what you did is still disgusts me. But for the sake of your baby, I will. The nation's favourite incredibly grumpy medic, Martin Clunes, returns for a brand new series of Doc Martin next Monday at nine. And he's quick, he's tough, he's deadly, he just doesn't know why. The Born Identity is coming up next. <laughs>